So hello guys, so let's solve this block friction problem. So determine the force we to move the block. So dito yung figure natin is ito. So tatlong block yung nagpapatong-patong. So yung pinakababa ang block ay may weight na 200 newton. Yung sa na is 100 newton. And yung sa pinakataas is 100 newton din. So sa taas na meron siyang tension na naka-attach sa wall. Coefficient of static friction ng A to the top surface of B is 0.2. And yung coefficient static friction ng B sa upper surface ng C is 0.2. And then yung coefficient of static friction ng block C and with respect sa surface is 0.1. Now, yung hahanapin natin dito is yung force P. Whether yung, yung mahahatak yung sa gitna or whether yung dalawang block sa baba yung mahahatak. Kasi may iwan yung A kasi merong tension na nakasabi sa kanya. Meaning, yung dalawang block or yung sa gitna is gagalaw papunta dito or either yung dalawa yung papunta dito. So, hahanapin natin yung force P para mag-impend o matanggal yung dalawang block o yung isang block sa ganitong figure. So, first of all, kailangan natin identify yung mga forces na present in each block para malaman natin yung value ng P. So, first draw natin yung free body diagram ng A. So, ito yung free body diagram ng block A. So, as you notice, letter T stands for tension which is ito it is acting left so therefore ganito yung approach nya then kapag yung tension natin is going to the left there is an opposing force which is friction force A so approach nya is opposite sa ating tension so ganito yan and then we have 100 newton which is here pababa and then yung normal force nya pataas so apat lang yung mga forces na nag exist sa ating block A so focus muna kayo sa block A Yan lang po yung ating uh, iniimbestigahan. Then, once na okay na and satisfy naman yung ating free body diagram, now we can solve now for normal force, friction force A, and tension. So first, let's solve for NA. So para masolve ang NA, since yung NA natin is vertical, why not to try summation F of Y equals 0? So yung NA natin is also 100 Newton. And then, let's solve for tension. So, by using equation of equilibrium in horizontal, summation f of x equals 0, meron tayo yung frictional force A minus tension is equal to 0. So, dalawa yung unknowns natin. And then, and then may formula tayo na makuha yung frictional force A. So, solving friction force A. And yung formula niyan is mu S times normal force. So, since meron tayo normal force, which is normal force A to be specific, then pwede natin solve yung frictional force A. Since given sa ating figure, na yung coefficient of static friction is 0.2, then we can write 0.2 here. Then 0.2 times normal force A na 100 newton. So yung frictional force A natin is equal to 20 newton. Then once alam na natin yung frictional force A, pwede natin yung i-substitute dito. So solving for T, for tension so we have 20 newton substitute yung siya dito minus t equals 0 move natin yung t sa kabila then we have 20 newton so 20 newton din yung ating tension so sulat natin dito yung mga since okay na siya proceed tayo sa free body diagram ng B so this is the free body diagram of B so normal forward and yung weight niya is 200 so bakit naging 200 since yung block B natin is in the middle and yung nasa taas nyo yung A then therefore yung weight ng A is mad up sa weight ng B so meaning yung system ng B is ganito nakalaki or yung weight niya is mag combine so 200 then we have force P which is acting to the right and then kapag hinila mo ito merong force na mapipigil sa kanya so yung 20 newton na to this is the value of tension na sinod natin kanina sa free body diagram ng A so 20 newton yung ating tension so siya yung pumipigil sa block A para ma-prevent yung B sa pagkakahila then we have another na nagpe-prevent yung frictional force B so this is the friction force between C and B so dito sa A kanina yung friction force natin is dito nag approach so therefore yung friction force B is dito sa block C in the middle of block C and block B so dito yung pinagkaiba lang yung tension natin is 20 newton. Kapag hinila mo to, merong opposite force na nag act between uh, surface of C and B. So, that is frictional force B. Then, pwede na natin ma-solve yung mga announce dito. 
And since yung primary target natin is to find the value for v, so why not to try summation f of x is equals to 0. So we have v minus frictional force v minus 20 equals 0. So p is equals to frictional force v plus 20. Now, the problem na lang natin is to find for the value of frictional force b para malaman na talaga natin yung force na kailangan natin. So, meron tayong formula na frictional force b is equals to mu s times normal force. And stated sa ating figure na yung mu s or yung coefficient of static friction between upper surface of c and the bottom surface of b is 0.2. Then, pwede natin i-substitute yan dito sa ating mu s. So, 0 0.2 and then yung ating normal force. So, to be specific, normal force B yung ilalagay natin. So, dito, kailangan muna natin ma-solve yung normal force B. So, by using summation F of Y equals 0. So, NB is equal to 200 Newton. So, i-substitute natin yung 200 Newton dito. We have 0.2 times 400. So, yung frictional force B is equal to 40 newton. Then once alam na natin yung frictional force B, substitute natin yan dito. So P is equals to frictional force B is 40 plus 20. So P is equals to 60 newton. Meaning to say, kailangan pala natin ng 60 newton force ay apply dito para mahila yung block B in the middle of block A and block C. So pag less yung inapply natin, let's say 50 newton lang then therefore hindi magsa-start mag-move yung ating block D so therefore we need um, minimum of 60 newton or greater than that para mag-start yung motion then what if yung hanapin naman natin yung P then yung gagalaw is yung block C and block B so meaning to say kapag hinila mo yung P sasabay yung ating block C so dito kasi yung ating lang uh, condition is yung block B lang yung matatanggal and may iwan yung block C. So, now, kailangan naman natin masolve yung P dito kasama na yung block C sa paghila. So, this is the free body diagram for block C. So, we have normal force and yung weight natin is 400 kasi in natin yung 100, 100, at 200. So, 400. Then, yung force P natin and yung preventing force natin or yung mga resisting force, we have tension and frictional force C. So, ito yung ating frictional force between block C and our rough surface. So, dito yan. Going to the left. So, dito in natin na yung force P. Itong whole system is mag-move towards right. So, therefore, yung frictional force C natin is going to the left opposite of motion. Then, since pag okay na yung lahat, we can solve for unknowns. So, yung inaanap natin is yung P. So, by using summation f of x equals 0, so p is equals to friction c, or friction for c, and plus 20 newton. Now, we have formula to identify the value of friction for c. So, it is friction c is equals to mu s times normal force. So, your friction for c is equals to mu s, not as a problem, is 0.1. Pwede natin i-substitute ito, 0.1 times yung normal force. However, hindi natin alam yung normal force. So, to be specific, this is normal force C. So, kailangan muna natin ma-solve yung normal force C using summation f of y equals 0. So, nc is equals to 400 newton. So, substitute natin yan. So, nc is 400. Then, friction for C is equals to 40 newton. So, substitute din natin yung force C dito sa ating equation. So, P is equals to 40 plus 20. So, P is also 60 Newton. Meaning to say, meaning to say, we need also 60 Newton with the initial condition na yung block C is susunod sa block B. So, ganun lang mag-solve ng block friction in this kind of problem.